<laughs> I get so nervous every time I do this, and there's no one here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Boyd, uh, Toy Avengers. You know, that's me. <laughs> I do everything on the channel. Um, and I just wanted to make this so that you guys can get to know me a little bit more and a little bit better. Um, I'm so used to just working on the actual projects, releasing them, and then just going about my business because I really care more about the art first and then everything else is like, oh, yeah, whatever. But, um, but I do feel like this may help the art and the projects connect more with people if they connect more with me. And so I just wanted to discuss some of my inspirations for some of my projects and talk about, um, you know, like some of the history behind it and the influences and everything. Um, so today I want to talk about um, Star Wars. Um, and I think it was, was it like three years ago. I made a Star Wars it was a series um, that started on May 5th. May 4th. I always get that confused. Every single, because I'm, I'm probably, I'm thinking like tacos and, and stuff. I'm always thinking about food. Um, <laughs> but, and I've done that before too, where I'm like, oh yeah, May 5th, Star Wars video is coming out. And I'm like, wait, no, no, it's May, May the 4th, May the 4th. So May 4th, 2021, I came out with a Star Wars series, which turned into, I turned it into one long video. Um, but essentially it was about the story of FN. 2187, um, also known as Finn from the sequels, Star Wars. Now, just a little background. I have liked Star Wars since I was a child. I remember um, having Star Wars action figures. I remember just walking around with my Luke Skywalker action figure everywhere. Um, I had the Star Wars um, audio book, and I was, like, following the pages and everything. Um I remember my mother, um, and this is like a long time ago, <laughs> so it's like, it's weird because like now everything's on Disney Plus and, you know, it's just so accessible, but I remember my mother had waited until they all came on TV, uh, HBO, they came on, and she recorded all six of the movies for me on DVD. I think I still have it somewhere down here, um, so, so I can watch it whenever I want it, and so, like, yeah, I, I've always liked Star Wars, always loved it um, since I was a child, since I was young. I remember, you know, going to my friend's house, watching Darth Vader, uh, episode three, watching Darth Vader breathe for the first time. Like, that was, you know, this very icon iconic moments for myself. Um, so when they decided to come out with the sequel trilogy, um, starting with The Force Awakens, I was excited, like most people, Um and the I'm not going to get too much into what John Boyega and everyone else has necessarily said about um, their experiences with Lucasfilm, Star Wars, Disney and whatnot. But obviously, if you look it up, you'll know that there were some problems. There was some trouble. There was a lot of um, a lot of also a lot of fans felt like there was maybe like a bait and switch when it came to the promotion. Because I remember the first time that I saw the trailer for The Force Awakens and when I saw Finn take off the helmet and I was like, oh, shit, like the stormtrooper is black. Like, oh, like, let's fucking go. And and I know, like, there's going to be people out there who's like, oh, my God, here we go. Ah, that's, that's woke shit. There's woke shit. Right. You know, not Walt Disney is woke Disney. Right. Um, I'm not talking to you guys. So you guys just want to click off this shit and then go right ahead. Um, I don't have any type of tolerance for any type of racism hatred bigotry none of that shit so if you are one of those type of people i'm letting you know right now that the day that you die the world would be a better place because there's no room for that um not hoping that you do die just saying that you know when you do die the the world would be a better place because that's one less person spreading hate um and then y'all be like, so, and that's a side note, but y'all be like so stupid with that shit too, because y'all be like, oh, here's, like, as soon as you see a black person or some shit, or a, uh, or a woman or some shit, or whatever, it's like, oh, God, here comes some woke shit, and it's like, it's Star Wars. Like, Star Wars is literally about, like, political shit. <laughs> like, 
doesn't get more woke than that, but I guess whatever. Um, but anyway, um, cause I'll go off on the shit, but, um, so, but yeah, I was like, oh, like shit, like, you know, stormtrooper, he's black, like, here we go, you know? And prior to, you know, having, um, Finn in Star Wars, we had, um, Mace Windu and we had Billy D. Williams and Billy D. Williams as Lando, like that really wasn't like the... I guess, I mean, he was cool, but, like, Mace Windu, you know, purple lightsaber, that was awesome. Um, but, so we got John Boyega, and then he, you know, he has a lightsaber, we're like, okay, like, this is, I thought, pretty much I thought that he was going to be way more important than he actually ended up being. Um, I don't know what happened, I don't know what, you know, maybe did I think too much of it, I don't know, but I thought he was going to be way more important than he actually was, and... He turned out to be like the like the this pretty much towards the end of the trilogy. It was just reduced to almost like nothing, um, in terms of being a side character, um, who was just another character in my opinion. And I felt like they could have done so much more with that, and which that's what inspired my video, where I decided to say, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm going to take every black character that I can possibly find. Um, in Star Wars, or and I think there's one guy that was, he wasn't black though. I don't think he was black when I put him in this video. But anyway, but every face that you see in this video, it's, it's everyone's black. Um, and the story obviously has nothing to do with being black or nothing like that. I even brought back Mace Windu from the dead. Um, I you know, I, I glued on uh, some cotton balls for like a beard to make him, you know, make him old, and I had him train Finn. And they're like, well, you got to stop Darth Vader. So, you know, it was just it was just whole thing. And I just felt like it was important for me to to tell this story and to make this story, because, you know, if they're not going to tell the stories that, you know, you want to tell, then like I'll just tell it myself. And I do think that representation does, you know, it does matter. Like it really does matter. And. You know, if there is someone out there who may be inspired to go out there and make their own or tell their own story based off of what I did, regardless of their race, religion, you know, background, then go right ahead. You know, that's that's what this is all about. Um, you know, an art should inspire art. And then, you know, that it goes it all comes full circle. Um, but, yeah, so this, um, you know, was. This was a very, very, uh, this is actually my, so this is my first time actually like doing Star Wars stuff. Um, and I remember realizing that it was like, oh, well, when I do the lightsabers, I have to actually make them like glow. So I got the special effect for, you know, making them glow, but I didn't realize how difficult it was. So when I'm editing these, um, these uh these videos i sometimes i'm editing down to like the like like to less of a second uh, less than a second um where i'm tracking these movements so when the lightsaber i'm just going to use this as an example so like if my finger is the lightsaber and this is the effect this is what it looks like when i when i shot it but i put it here I have to chop it and then I have to keep putting it. And sometimes this process takes like an hour just to edit one simple swing, you know, like four seconds of footage. And, but it's, it's so worth it. Um, you know, there are certain things that I'll be like, Oh, well, I'm not going to do that. But there's other things where I'm like, no, nah, like if, if someone's watching the star Wars video on YouTube, they're definitely going to want to see these lightsabers glow. And I've tried to find different ways to kind of skip around it. And there's really no way unless I find like some glow in the dark toy lightsaber, um, you know, for the for the figures. But it's it, there's no way. But it's so worth it in the very end. Um, you know, and it's I feel like it's things that maybe people may take for granted um, where it's just like, oh, like it's just because lightsabers glow. But like this is what I had to do <laughs> to get that, you know, to get that to happen. Um but yeah, it was a, it was a really nice um, experience, um, you know, just being able to tell my own my own story, um, playing off of what 
we knew. So the story essentially is about, you know, a stormtrooper who defects from, I guess, well, this is the Empire. Um, so they're all under Darth Vader, but he defects from the uh, Empire. Um, and they were actually hunting down Mandalorians. So he refused to kill. Um, and then he escapes with one of the Mandalorians, Casca Reeves. Um, I used her, obviously. Huge wrestling fan. Love Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet. Um, had the pleasure of meeting her at Comic-Con uh, last year. Had a picture. Very nice lady. Um, very sweet. Um, I know like people said otherwise, but she's very, very kind. Um, um, but, you know, so I used her character, um, and then I brought in Mace Windu, and then at the very end, um, cause I was like, all right, how do I end this? And endings are very, very tough to do. Uh, cause I was like, well, I don't want him to win. Um, <laughs> like I started thinking, I was like, well, like what, what could I do? Um, you know, like, I don't really want him to win. Like I don't, I didn't want Finn to win. Um, because I was like, well, I want to do more. And so I had Casca Reeves turn on Finn and, um, then he ends up dying at the very last minute. And she did that in order to gain, um, access to the dark saber and which, you know, Star Wars, you know, the Mandalorians, the Darksaber, that's, you know, um, one of the things that's sought after and it's passed down. And so I had that, but that was actually supposed to be a lot more more to it. But because I was so heavily working on the Marvel stuff, I wasn't necessarily able to really go full on into the Star Wars stuff. Um, but... But yeah, like uh, so. In conclusion, here, like I love Star Wars. I hope you guys, you know, check this out. Um, and you know, if you guys have any like questions, any requests for any behind the scenes videos for things that um, I have done, um, please let me know. I will definitely, definitely make them. Obviously, um, but yeah, I'm gonna put out more. I'm, I think I might do one for like every video that I've done. Um, just because I feel like these stories are, they're important to me. I took my time out to tell them. And I do think that, um, this is a way for not only the people who watched them before to, um, you know, like revisit them and everything, but also new people to be like, oh, okay, well, well, let me go check that out. Um, and shout out to Jack Newstead. Um, I think I'm saying your name correctly, where, the the follow up to this video is the um Vader's reign um the Ahsoka uh video that I did and I only did that video that one video this this uh the follow up video because of that person and they asked for they kept asking yo when is the next Star Wars video coming out and myself I'm not one to ignore you know, people. So like, if you like, I normally make what I like and also what I think that people might like too. But if you flat out tell me like, yo, I want more of this, I'm going to do it. And just one person asking for it. That meant a lot to me, um, to be honest, because it's really hard, <laughs> you know, um, cause I know like, you know, people watch and everything, but not everyone comments, not everyone, you know, shares their thoughts and stuff. So it's like, it meant a lot to me for that one person to be like, Hey, like when is this coming out? And they kept commenting on every video that I did. And it got to the point where I'm like, all right, like it's coming, it's coming. I was like, you know what? This one is for you. And I literally said it when I released it, like, this is just for you. Um, you know, cause I just, it, it felt good. Cause it felt like I, you know, what I did resonated with someone and, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, if you're an artist out there, you're anyone who creates things and, you know, someone says you did a good job, it's like, that means a lot. Um, so for someone to, to treat this like, you know, I'm like, like, little old me? <laughs> like, treating it like it's like, you know, like your favorite artist or your favorite movie, you know, coming out, and it's just like, it's just me on YouTube. So that really did mean a lot to me. Um, so shout out to Jack. Um I don't know if any more Star Wars stuff is coming. I actually kind of diverted. Um, I had something planned, but I don't know if I'm going to do it. 
and I'm going to wait because I am kind of like starting to slow down on things a little bit. But if it does come out, you know, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, but but yeah, let me know what you guys think, um, you know, about the Star Wars video, the story. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.